Hi guys, Mark Gilbert here with Muscle Diet and today we're talking about whether you should mix your milk with uh, your whey protein as opposed to mixing it with water. Uh, now, some people say it, if you mix it with milk, it'll slow down the absorption of the whey protein. And of course, most of us know that whey protein, one of the big advantages to whey protein is how, how quickly it's absorbed and getting high amounts of aminos in the, aminos in the blood and that triggers a, a big protein synthesis, muscle building response. So, so are we uh, messing with that effect if we, if we mix milk with whey protein? And the answer is no. And the people that think it does slow down the whey protein are showing a bit of a misunderstanding of the way the proteins work and the proteins are designed to work. Uh, casein, which is about, in, in cow's milk, is about 80% of the protein, 20% uh, of the protein in cow's milk's uh, whey. In humans, it, uh, it's a much, in human milk, there's a much higher level of, of whey protein, a higher ratio of whey protein to casein. So, uh, will we interfere with the absorption of, uh, of whey protein mixed with milk? No, we won't. And the reason is because this is designed, uh, the, the proteins in milk, when casein hits the gut, hits the stomach, and hits the acid of the stomach, that acid makes it curdle. And so it turns into a lump, and it slowly releases amino acids. And that's the way Mother Nature intended. So if a child, a baby, isn't being fed for several hours, they're still going to have amino acids trickling in, so they'll have nutrition. Whereas the whey protein is supposed to get in there quickly, and it does. And regardless of whether there's clotting casein around, there's still a liquid phase in the gut, which is where the whey protein will be, and it, it won't be bothered by the fact that there's a clot of casein in there. It will just keep going merrily along into the lower intestine and be absorbed as normal. So the whey protein will get in there in, in, in just a few hours. All, all the whey protein will be gone and digested in, in, in three and a half hours in the bloodstream, whereas the casein will keep going for seven or eight hours regardless. So you can mix your whey protein with milk. The only thing you got to remember is milk's got, you know, a cup of milk has... Uh, 12 grams of sugar as lactose, uh, although you get an extra 8 grams of, of, of protein. And you'll get extra fat depending which kind of milk, uh, whether it's semi-skim, 2%, whatever you want to call it. So, uh, so th that's the facts behind that. You, you can mix it, you'll get more calories, uh, it won't slow down the whey protein. So this, the anabolic effect of the whey, whichever amount of whey you have, will still be the same. Uh, Alright guys, so uh, Hopefully that's helpful. Uh, if you like that, please share it. If you have some friends that believe that myth, then, then please share it with them. Uh, and uh, please like, subscribe, and go to the Muscle, Muscle Diet YouTube channel. And uh, we'll see you with uh, lots more videos of similar things uh, that are going to help you with your results in the future. All right, guys. Cheers.